Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, brothers, that's doing this work in sincerity and in truth. Uh, you probably can hear the rain in the background, but uh, at the gig, I want to do this, do this video. Uh, basically, dealing with we're in the end game right now. All right? We're in that end game right now. Because a lot, a lot of prophecy is going, going down. All right. This was correctly named by the apostle uh, Tahar, the year of prophecy. <laughs> and it has not, uh, you know, it has been nothing but that uh, this year. All right. But I just want to share a message. A lot of brothers have been uh, having family members that are in military, that are in politics, hit, hitting them up. And basically giving them a, a warning. Now, don't shoot the messenger if this doesn't come to pass. But I'm just sharing it, uh, you know, with who, who's ever watching this video at the time. Right? Now, uh, this is from a brother uh, from a, uh, another camp, not GMS Chicago. But it says, uh, just heard from uh, two very close law enforcement friends, National Guard being deployed and meeting had a, now about announcement of a 30 day lockdown. Make sure you're stocked up, maybe tomorrow or Friday announced. Right. So what they what they doing in uh, the, all these European countries and all over the world, get ready for a rollout, uh, a lockdown where basically they're doing a soft core lockdown in, in the bay area right now where only a, essential people can leave the house man all right if you have a job that's whether you have a job or not uh you're gonna be locked down right now only medical workers people that can run a grocery store and ones delivering i believe grocery supplies are allowed to leave all right so let's say you working right now and your job is uh you have a job and it's a, a warehouse or whatever somewhere. Guess what? That's going to be closed down. Now, this this uh, this alert that the brother Sharon says up to 30 days. So we will we'll see, man. It says uh, it says he said that they are preparing to mobilize the National Guard, preparing to dispatch them across the U.S. along with military. So there's been reports of military vehicles all across this country. Because this this could be uh, uh, this could be coming real soon. Next, they will call the first responders. He said they are preparing and to announce a nationwide one week quarantine for all citizens. All businesses closed. Everyone at home. They were told to pack and be prepared for up to 30 days deployment, which he said means they may extend the quarantine up to 30 days. So it could be from a week to 30 days, according to this uh, this this insider, the source or whatever. He told me to notify our family members and have them stock up on and be prepared. They will announce this as soon as they have troops in place to help prevent looters and rioters. He said he got the call last night. Uh, says and he was told to pack and be prepared for the call today. To dispatch the orders, he thinks they will announce this before the end of a week end of the weekend. So what's today? Thursday. Uh, to keep people home on Monday. So, like I said, if it doesn't uh, come to pass, don't shoot the messenger. But even if it do come to pass, at least you've been warned. At least you got time to do what you need to do. First and foremost, uh, you got to always stay prayed up. All right. Get in the uh, spirit of praying to ha uh, have you how about you, how shy, uh, give you mercy in these times. Lead you in a direct, uh, make the right decisions in these times. All right. Follow the spirit in these times, which is going to be very uh, important. All right. Because this is the end game. So let's go right into the scriptures. Let's get a. Uh, let's get Ephesians 5 and 15. It says, see that that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. <laughs> So last week on the line when we were out there teaching, man, it was a damn ghost town. But some stores were still open. And we saw we saw Jake, man, inside a Foot Locker doing what? Buying shoes, man. <laughs> buying Jordans, buying Timberlands, man. All right. So that's that's being foolish in this time. 
It ain't the time. It's not the time for that, man. All right. You still got certain Israelites out here uh, putting out rap albums. That's not the time for that. The time is to be pushing the prophecies. The time is to be giving the warning. All right. To alert the people. It's now time to repent. It's now time to come. It's been time, past time to repent. Come back to who you are. Recognizing that you are Israelite. And begging for mercy uh, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, verse 17, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. The will of the Lord is to eventually come back and uh, take this place down, take down Esau, and set up his kingdom. All right? That's the will of the Lord. And there's going to be certain elect that's going to be a part of that. And if you have any kind of brain in your, <laughs> brain in your head, uh, you would want to be a part of that. All right? So just understand what time we're in, man. Understand what time we're in. Uh, let's keep going. Let's go to the book of uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. It says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. So all these uh, uh, preparations that Esau is making, he's thinking he, he's doing them out of his own, uh, uh, you know, his own mindset. I can't think of the word I'm trying to use. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is controlling this man. All right. He is controlling this man. So he's getting this man to prepare for what? The end. To bring uh, this World War III. To bring this uh, Mark of the Beast. Which is a huge prophecy. Which is an implantable chip that's going to be used to buy and sell. All these things are coming. Because they're getting ready to do, do away with cash. All right. Contactless payments. Uh. Google that contactless payment. That's the that's the future right there. All right. Uh, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. So right, stay patient, man. Understand the process, what's going on. All right, and get your mind right uh, first and foremost. Right. Uh, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's go to the book of Second Ezra. Nine. Let's start at one. It says he answered me then. And said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time where wherein the highest begin to visit uh, the world which he made. Right. So you got to understand the Lord visit visits this world through the plagues, get this uh, coronavirus, earthquakes. Just had a huge earthquake in Utah yesterday. And there have been earthquakes all over the place. Uh the food supply is dwindling here in uh, Babylon. All right. People are, are being more erratic, acting more and more crazy day by day because I work out in the public, man. I'm seeing these people. These people are truly losing it, man. The bread and circus is gone. No more sports. <laughs> no more shaking your ass at the club. Right. You got to sit your ass down somewhere, man. And really contemplate the works of your how about you, shy and what's going on. Right. It says, uh, therefore, when that thou shalt see earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and that's what uh, was in the midst of going on before this virus got released, which I believe is a bioweapon. It was man-made. There's uh, plenty of evidence uh, and uh, evidence on that as far as uh, you got certain labs that got uh, patents on this coronavirus. And that's why our vaccine is some, coming so quickly to even push even more deaf and destruction. And guess what? They're going to get paid off that deaf and destruction. All right. It says. Uh, then shalt thou understand that the most high spake of those things from the beginning. So like if spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right. This book is all prophecy and they're all ruling out. That's how you know this thing is true. It says for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end. The end is manifest, right? We are in the end game. <laughs> we are in the end game, man. That's what time is. All right. It says, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder uh, and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. So this virus is a sign. This economy being taken down by this, this so-called virus is a sign of the time, man. Them preparing uh, uh, martial law and lockdown is a sign of the time, right? People going crazy in stores, fighting over resources is, is, is a sign of the time. 
uh, Second Ezra as, as the elders and apostles keep pushing. Second Ezra 15, Second Ezra 16, Re Book of Revelation. All these prophecies are yelling right now. They are yelling because we are in that time right now. All right. And chances are, uh, the brother that gave, I, I read that report from a brother that sent that message, that warning, that they're going to do this. You got Trump enforcing all these executive orders, all these acts that's basically just undoing the Constitution. All right. <clears throat> Bringing in uh, 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 Navy ships with hospital bids because they're, they're expecting this thing to be uh, monumental, man. They're getting ready to, to send money out to people. All right. <clears throat> So it's going to have to be reoccurring. It's going to have to be reoccurring. All right. Because in the spirit, you know, it's saying, my spirit is saying this is it. And even if it's not it, this is a perfect transition into a whole new way of life. All right. Just like after 9-11, that event. Guess what? Shit changed, man. And shit is truly going to change uh, after this. It says. Uh, it says verse seven. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to uh, escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So guess what, man? We, we rejoice in these times because we believe uh, what was written. We get our spirit right and we prepare in these times because what? We believe what is written. All right. It says, shall be preserved from the sad perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Right. It's great suffering is, is coming up on this earth. Great suffering. So it's time to get your mind right. Brothers, uh, I, just, I got to repost a video by the elder in, uh, in uh, Indianapolis, the elder Dimashapot. Uh, get Start working with these herbs, man. Start getting these, these herbs if you can get them. All right. It's, it's good to get the immune system uh, functioning functioning at its top level, man, with the times that we're going in, going into. All right. And, and first and foremost, stay prayed up constantly. Uh, let's see what else I got. Slovakia. But that's no, I'm a cut. That's, that's enough. I'm a cut it short. But yeah, that's the point. That's the point, man. Whether this warning uh, is real or not, <clears throat> just look at look at uh, like I said, look at all the things that are happening in the media. Look at all the things that the, the uh, executive orders that the president is pushing and, pr and passing. All the bills that are getting rushed through, and all these bills got a lot of different language in them uh, that are setting up uh, the new world order <laughs> to roll in, man. And that's beautiful. These people, these proud people are going to learn. They are about to learn today, man. All right. But with that, I hope this was edifying. Shalom on the next time.